it's been about a month since I've done this technique and well a lot of you are probably thinking that's gonna look cheap or not hold up pretty well but rest assured this car has gone through lots and lots of mud all the way up to the body a ton of rain and would you look at that still looks great so rest assured guys this technique not only works but it stays working and it looks good what's up guys it's john from john and john's ghetto garage and if you have ever been in an accident or you drive a lowered car you may have run into a problem that your bumper just won't quite fit back into place and if you're like me it's because the snaps on the bumper itself that are right along here have been snapped or frayed to the point where you cannot put it back into place so I'm going to show you a very, very easy and cheap way to fix that using only duct tape and possibly a screwdriver. When I got this bumper, it was already kind of falling off, but after lowering the vehicle and scraping a bit, things get a bit looser. So, as you can see right here with the one that I haven't covered up yet, um, the clip just snapped off of the bumper. And an easy thing to do to just support this is just putting some duct tape across, around, and then across again to support it. I'm getting a new bumper soon, so I didn't want to take any measures that would actually cost some money while I'm waiting for that to get painted and then I can have that installed. So the first thing that you should do is figure out where it's cracked, because this is where you're going to want to support it the most want to put down a little base just to make sure that everything will be level when you actually put something on to support it so now that that's looking pretty flush we're going to want to put on something a bit heavier to wrap around it so here we go we're putting that on and I'll wrap it over and then flatten it again. You're going to want to peel off anything extra that will show as to not make it look cheap. So now that we have this leveled out and flush, we're going to want to put a thin piece to wrap around it where that crack in the bumper is. Now for extra support, I suggest putting one more layer around it, something a bit wider. There we go. And we're going to want to just put one bigger piece on top, just to seal it all together. Now granted this is just duct tape so it won't be able to take a full on impact. This will be able to hold your bumper in place. One last thing that I'm going to do is to just put one longer piece across a group of two of them. Just to keep things flush and level. Really press it down so then it'll fit inside the clip. I'm going to do that in groups of two, so I'm going to do it again over here just for extra stability. I simply just go over each area that's cracked, just push it in as best you can. Just to make sure that's nice and flat. So we are looking good there. Now Push it in until you hear a snap. And anywhere that there's an obstruction that will prevent it from going in, you want to take back out, reflatten. Because if it's not flat, not only will it not fit right, but it probably won't even go in in the first place. A bit of trouble pushing this part in right here, but that is actually not due to the tape or the bumper. But there's actually a crack in the material from the wheel well. 
So what I'll have to do is push that out of the way before uh, pushing this in. So very simply, there's a crack in the material right there that's actually pushing this part up and obstructing it from going into the bumper. So I will just have to pull that down and then push it in. Let's push down and in I push. And look at that. Now you cannot tell it all except for maybe in a few places if you really look at it, but chances are no one's really going to be looking too close at this and it looks a whole lot better than it did before when it was hanging out. Like I said, I'm planning on actually getting a new bumper pretty soon, so this is just an easy fix, hopefully for not too long of a time, but I'm very happy with the results. And the fitment is back to being absolutely great. That fitment is lovely, it's near perfect, and it costed me less than a cent, I would say, to fix all of this because duct tape is freaking cheap. I'd say that's a lot better than uh, getting a new bumper and getting it painted. So if you were in a fender bender or like me, you just have a lowered car, this is a very nice alternative to just getting a new bumper. So if you either are waiting to get a new bumper on and don't want to have to deal with the bad look of a bumper hanging out, or you're just too cheap to buy a new one, I hope that this video sure helps you. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, please like and subscribe so we can give you more cheap ways to fix your car and also some funny car videos. Have a good one, guys.